Hello everybody, welcome to Like My Way Tarot. I'm Stephanie for the new ones. And today I'm looking into your person's intentions towards you and in the connection. I'm also going to pull your angel numbers. Uh, seems like I haven't done it in a while, so I will do that as well. Um, know that this is a timeless reading, so anytime you find this video, uh, know that it is uh, the right moment for you and it must contain a message uh, at that specific moment. So today we have, oh, before I forget, sorry. On May 1st, I'm starting a new 21-day challenge to manifest whatever you want to manifest in your life. Uh, the link for the Facebook group, which is private, is in the description box with all the other infos for the uh, the uh, official Facebook group and uh, uh, all the infos for personal readings. So feel free to check that out. So we have three piles today. We have pile one two and three what is your person's intentions towards you and in your connection take the time to choose and the timestamps are in the, in the description box i'll see you at your reading hello everyone who chose group one so let's start with your angel numbers see what we get we're getting 31 64 so that reduces to 14 which becomes 5 so 5 what is 5 it is change or period of challenge it is uh, finding your freedom group one so number five is um, the main number for you right now to look into angel number 3164 so let's see what's going on with your person how about if i do that i'm working with natural light today i didn't feel like turning on my big light so um yeah, you might notice uh, that the lighting's a little different, but it feels calmer this way, I find. So what are your person's intention towards the connection? What do they want to do with the connection? We have the Seven of Cups. Uh, this is the magician reversed. What are the intentions for the connection right now? Eight of swords reversed. And the king of cups. All right. Okay, so, and we have uh, at the bottom of the deck here, the Ten of Swords reversed. Okay, so with the Seven of, uh, the, sorry, the Ten of Swords reversed and the Eight of Swords, they really want to get this connection unjammed, untrapped. Um, they want some kind of relief, finding peace here uh, with the Knight, uh, sorry, the Page of Swords. Um, and their, their intentions in the connection is to make this better, which is absolutely great. Having the king of, of uh, cups right here at the end. Overall, they want to find some balance in the connection. There's something about generosity here. Uh, open their heart. Their, their intention is to do that. But they're struggling quite a bit here with the seven, uh, seven of cups and magician reverse. They don't know exactly how to get there. They're very tempted, but at the same time insecure. Having the magician reversed is, um, it's feeling a little powerless or procrastinating, putting 
uh, the connection on the back burner on the back burner because they're looking in to to find some kind of clarity or focus in the connection so that's their intention to move towards something much better um i wouldn't be surprised that some of them are thinking about reaching out um but not just yet they're really um i think they're trying to find kind of uh or take kind of uh period of time uh, they need kind of they need space tell me more about their intentions for the connection and the future because th they would very much like to open up to you king of swords again so um i say again because this is a uh, two energy of clarity but this one way more mature um they're trying to find their strength here they're work they're working into that uh, two of pentacles again <laughs> a sense of imbalance not knowing quite how to approach this um uh they're um they might lack some kind of maturity or um um not being ready to take responsibility and i'm hearing commit or to take a final decision and to stick to it we're having the eight of cups reverse this card for me is always planning to return um but it's very frustrating it's wanting to return and, and overthinking it, being a little obsessive about it. So, yeah. And we have also the fool. So they're very tempted to take, take the, the jump to try it out. But it's like they don't want to make a mistake here. Depending on what happened in the past, or what the situation is at the moment, if you've known this person for a long time, they don't want to screw it up. So they are quite conflicted right now. And we got the eye precess here. So they're trying to find some insight in what their feelings truly are and what they really want. Let's see their intentions towards you, just you, not the whole connection. Because here, they're looking into the possibility, definitely. But being confused, don't you feel like they always do that? <laughs> All right, so what are their intentions towards viewer group one? We're having the two of ones reversed. Oh, there, there's some kind of impatience here. Um, but being very, um, blocked. Okay. They're impatient, but they're not taking action. So yeah. 10 of pentacles reversed. You might be afraid to be judged. They de I feel like your person definitely wants some kind of reconciliation with you. Having, um, the five of pentacles reverse which is healing taking responsibility recovering plus the ten and uh eight of swords here um they want to find some peace in the connection four of wands make it better again um I really feel like they want to reach out or they would like you to reach out depending on what happened but they definitely are looking into some kind of reconciliation with you i'm gonna put this one here because i want an extra card i thought something flipped maybe not it did not so their intentions towards you 
uh, the four of one is very much about commitment. It is, um, you know, love reading can be called a marriage card or union card as well. Uh, wow. It's, um, it's looking towards commitment here. Promises. I'm hearing promises. Wanting to give you something back. There's something that they, they want to share something. And we're having the star reversed. So um they're um they're kind of negative about this. It's like they're afraid that you won't take them back, or if you take them back, um they might be judged. We're having the Ten of Pentacles reverse as well. It's like they screwed up or something just went wrong and they, they just don't know how to fix it. I'm going to ask an extra question. What do we have here um, underneath? And then I'll ask something else. Seven of Swords reverse. Maybe they were not uh, faithful. Maybe they um, didn't keep their promises. Um... It's something about being ashamed and they're also avoiding to really fix this um what are their feelings let's do that and i'll i think i'll ask some messages from your person as well their feelings the star they're very much dreaming about you here but they're pessimistic about what the outcome would be if they actually make a move or if they take action or reach out so very dreamy wanting um a new beginning a new phase um this is finding wisdom as well there's something very um pure in their feelings it might not be what they're showing you but it's like they're um starting to be honest with themselves here when it comes to their feelings we also have the seven of swords that's interesting so you have the star here um twice once is reversed and you have the seven of swords twice so they um they do uh feel like they betrayed you or they escaped their feelings, they're escaping their feelings. They're keeping you as like, a, I don't want to say fantasy, but like um, something they missed. An opportunity they missed. And the Knight of Wands, they're super passionate here. Super passionate. This is, um, their gut feeling is saying that, yeah. This could have been the right one or the, the, my my girl or my person. Um, they're having uh, strong feelings for you here. Um, but they, I think they feel like they lost you. That's so so in terms of reaching out, they're very hesitant. King of Pentacles. Oh, wow. Feelings are very solid here. This is, um, this is, um, this is strength. It's abundance. It's power. It's, uh, also influenced. So their feelings are solid. Let's clarify the Seven of Swords just to see, um, What's going on with that avoidance energy going on? Ten of Swords. We got Ten of Swords here. So this card, this card, and the star are repeating. Um, and it's interesting because this time it's upright. Here we got it reversed. Um, so again, Feeling of betrayal. Well, maybe you left them. And that's how they feel. And they're missing you. Depending on your situation. 
that this person is definitely attached to you. There's some kind of energy of ending as well, but they're, they're um, it's like feeling defeated by the situation, circumstances, uh, and they don't know how to manage this. And we have the lovers here. Oof, okay, that's why it was so intense. Um, wow, this is, um, I don't want to necessarily label this as a twin flame reading. Uh, it could be just a strong soul connection, a life contra uh, soul contract, or a, a strong soulmate here. But having the lovers is definitely an indicator that this person is going to be in your life for a very long time. Um, maybe on and off, and but it's like the your thoughts are always gonna go back to them, and same for them. They cannot stop thinking about you here. You might have dreams about them. Um, this person is feel like they're this person is maturing, uh, being more in touch with their true self, with the high priestess really um discovering what who they are but really about their feelings their emotions like they're allowing emotions to be there instead of avoiding so it, it's it's growing it's like a, the inner what i'm feeling it's like a, something is pushing me up uh, and and th they would very much like to speak. My throat is um, it's kind of it's like not burning, but it's warmer. Yeah, and you have a lot of swords here, which is an energy of um, communication. So what would they like to tell you? Because I am curious for you, Group One. Wow. I'm bleeding, but you can see my blood. So your person is. Um, hurt right now. They're, um, I, I feel like they're dealing with their shadow side as well. You are the answer to my whole life. Very twin flamey or very strong connection you have with this person. Uh, let's get uh, one more and I will give you an advice as well. Oh, right, well, you're going to get two. Two flew out. It's a very gentle energy in your reading. It's like they're they're having regrets. It's like they, they'd like to hug you or to hold you, comfort you. Um, it's like they, they understand what went wrong and they're getting ready to take responsibility of it. What do we have? I am figuring it. <laughs> I'm figuring it out. Yes. Yes, they are. And would you take me back? Oh my gosh, this is like, this is your reading. I'm sorry for the stains here. Uh, my cards got wet. I guess I'm going to have to create a new deck. Um, I'm figuring it out. Would you take me back? This is your reading. I hope you're still there because this says it all. It does says it all. Group one, beautiful. Okay, that's converting very much. Um, let's get you an advice. Which one? Which one? Oh, okay, it's gonna be this one. An advice for group one. What do they need to know or pay attention to right now when it comes to this connection? No, sorry. We have, look at those who are honest and good for a wonderful future awaits those who love peace. Finding peace. It's like peace is settling in this connection slowly. It's not going fast. But that's what your person wants. And, and I feel like this is for you. To open your eyes and, and start seeing it. 
or opening up to it, opening your heart. If the if if this person hurt you or if you got scared and left, this person cares very very much. Group one. Wow. Okay. So don't forget May first. I'm starting a new manifestation challenge. Twenty one day. Uh, the um, the link is in the description box. It's a private Facebook group. So uh, feel free to ask to join. Uh, there we go. Thank you so much. Uh, that's all I have um, for you today. So let me know how this resonated with you and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye. Hi everyone who chose pile two. So you chose this deck and this feather here. Okay, you might notice that my lighting is a little different. I didn't feel like turning on my big light today, so we're going natural light. So, starting with your angel numbers, we have uh, 63, oops, 61. So, your angel numbers is 63. 61 that goes to 16 reduces to 8 8 is the number of abundance manifestation or prosperity so that's a good number and you can also check out 63 uh, 61 the meaning i always find that it's pretty damn on point like we say so we're going to check out today what are your person's intention and the connection after that towards you and i'm most probably gonna ask one more question after that and um depending on what we get and uh, messages from your person as well so let's see what are their intentions in this connection? Three of Cups. Their intentions in this connection for group two. Two of Cups reversed. The Hierophant, which is also the Five of Pentacles in this deck. We have the Eye Priestess reversed, combined with the Queen of Cups reversed. Let's move this. Intentions, Nine of Cups. Oops, let's bring this down. All right, I'm going to grab the book for the definition or description of that card and I'll let uh, I'll start reading after. Okay. Okay, so what we have here is that your person feels uh, a connection with you here with the 3 of cups. That's a sense of community and um and friendship. Uh it's pleasure as well um not necessarily sexual just like feeling good around you so um their intentions we also have the two of cups and i cannot do two things at the same time let me find the hierophant trying to do two things and that doesn't work where is it Oh, I gotta go in Five of Pentacles. So we have um, okay. So th it's like it's, there's something about mistrust. I'm gonna read this. It's uh, the Jane Austen tarot deck. So it is based on on stories, which I don't know much about. But here it goes. It's an energy of tradition here, but to not trust the outside. So it says, Frank Churchill and Emma 
this must be a novel, is a member of the landed gentry. But things on the surface are not always what they seem. Emma does not trust Frank, despite his gentlemanly exterior. So there's something about ego here going on. Um, false promises, deceptions. Maybe I'm going to turn on my light because it's getting darker outside. Careful. There we go. Okay, so, um, yeah. So this person is, um, there's, there's a lot of feelings for you. These are like, you have cups, 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 cups. And the Aerophant in the middle, which is, uh, you know, a priest, or it could be the marriage card. And this deck, it's a little different because it's combined with, um, uh, some kind of betrayal energy with the five of pentacles um, it's like they're um, this could be you could be married to this person or it could be a long relationship you've known this person for a long time they do care very much there's a they're having issues with commitment uh, they're thinking about it most definitely here um, but it's like they're they're wanting right now to keep you as a it's dreamy it's very dreamy um it's it's a dream a wish and uh but they're very insecure very insecure in this connection with the queen of cups reverse here they're not completely honest here they're not their intentions are not completely honest, so be careful here. Um, they do want to get to a point where there's happiness between the two of you. We have it at the beginning and end of your reading here. But this, these two are energy of disconnect. Disconnect, not being on the same page, um, not understanding each other. Um, they're not feeling worthy of you. That's what I'm feeling here. Most probably because they're, it's like they're wearing a, you know, a mask or a fake cover. They're not quite ready to show themselves um, or show their vulnerability here because they do care very much and they do want to get closer to you. Um, they, they, they want to work on this disconnection here, I feel, with the Yerophant being in the middle. So their intention is to make things better, which is great. Um, work, I think after, after I'm going to ask for their feelings um, or something like that. Uh, but I'm not done yet. What do we have here underneath the Three of Pentacles? Yes, that's partnership wanting to work things through get better improve uh the situation or the connection can you see it if i put it out there yeah it's tight but it's it fits so yes your person is um is open to change and to make things much better with you um they're working on opening their heart okay so they want some harmony that their intention is to find harmony in the connection what are their intentions towards you ten of pentacles reversed judgment It's, it's interesting because the Ten of Pentacles reverse is an, also an energy of judgment. Feeling judged for who they are, what they have, what they what they can offer here. So you got two cards of this, like very similar energy, if not like, like the same. Um, they're willing to make a decision here, but but it's also a feeling of, of loneliness, feeling... Uh, uh, the burden 
What are their intentions? The lovers. I, I think their intentions towards you is to get to uh, Six of Cups here. Uh, give me a second. I need to tune in. <laughs> their intentions. And the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, their intentions towards you is to work at giving you something more committed, but solid. No, it's not like um, commitment in a relationship. It could be, could very well be, but they want to be solid here. This is, um, these two being on top of each other says so much. <sighs> There's a lot of duality in your connection. Group two, if, if pile one was um, resonating with you, uh, if you were, you know, hesitating be between two piles, you might have a message there. You just take what resonate, obviously. Um, but it, it's a similar energy for both piles. Uh, it's like this connection is a test of faith and trust. It might have been a long journey, a long connection, and it's been dragging and exhausting. But this person does care, but they don't, they're not feeling mature enough. It's like they're working on, on building themselves up to be better for you here. We're having the Six of Cups here reverse, which I want to um, clarify. Because this is this is delays. It's um, but it, it's 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 shaky. It's a lot of d disappointment as well. Is it six or nine? It's nine. Oh, sorry, we got the nine of cups here and the nine of cups there. Their intentions for the connection here is to make things better here, but they don't know how. They want to be more solid. There's something about wanting to be more abundant. It could be in terms of money. It could be because they want to achieve some professional goals or things like that. It might have something to do with material stuff. We got the Fool here to clarify. The Nine of Cups. That's very interesting. There's a heart here and one on the suitcase. It's like they keep you in their heart. Just They want to keep you just for themselves. And they're building up towards that, but they, they're not quite ready here. Um, you know what? I'm going to ask if they're going to reach out. That's the that's question I'm going to ask. Will they reach out? The world. The world. Wow. Okay. Um, that's a deep understanding. Uh, it's also travel if you're far apart. Or if you haven't seen each other in a long time, they're wanting some healing in this connection. With the Five of Pentacles reverse, we have it here as well. But now they now it's reversed, so they want some healing. They want to recover from this. They want to make it better. And we also have it with the Three of Pentacles. So will they reach out? I feel the Yeah, thinking about it very much. We're having the moon here. Um, did I say I, I, I felt like this was very dreamy? The moon is a transformation. They want things to change bet between the two of you. So I feel like, yes, they're thinking about making a, a move. They can, you know, reaching out to you. But they're hesitant. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Temperance. Yeah, they're 
weighing the pros and cons. Wow. Well, they're, they're serious about it, though, which is great. If, if that's what you want, obviously. Oh, uh, but temperance, it's finding balance. They want balance. They're, yeah, I, I think that I think they will try to make things better between the two of you. Let's see what. Um, oh, you know what? I'm going to check out what we had underneath in the 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 this question here about having um making a move towards you or having seven of cups reversed so they're really trying to figuring out <coughs> and making a decision and uh, it's temptation as well but it's this is loaded with <coughs> excuse me okay sorry my throat got super itchy. <coughs> okay, loaded with insecurities. Uh, it's like <coughs> they don't want me to say it. Oh, oh my God, throat is tight. Oh, I'll have a sip of water. Okay, I'm back. Okay, yeah, so they really don't want you to know this, that they're so insecure. Um feels like somebody who doesn't have much of self-esteem uh they might have a super big ego they might be very concerned about what people think of them and that creates all this delays all those delays i'm sure there's more than one <coughs> it creates a stagnation okay and what do we have here underneath the wheel yeah so will they reach out i think they're willing they're, they're willing to um, find the strength to do that. Absolutely. So that's great. Let's check out their feelings real quick. True feelings for you. They do care very much. And it's very sincere. The, I don't feel like this person is um, used to touch their feelings or show their vulnerability. Six of Wands. Beautiful. It's like they know you're the one or that this connection is worth exploring at the minimum. Um, did I say that number eight is about um, manifestation and abundance at the beginning? It's prosperity. And we ha we're having the, this pentacles, those pentacles are wanting to like be more stable. This person wants to overcome the blockages not uh, within themselves that's what i meant the hermit their feelings for you the hierophant again you got it twice here you could be married with uh, this person or you could have been married you might be in separation it could also be a new relationship but this person is so attached here that I, I don't, for most of you, it's something that's been, you know, lingering for a long time. <clears throat> and the three of wands. Uh, they definitely feel like they maybe missed an opportunity, but right now they're waiting for the right time. Um... And this is also an energy of the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, they, they see you like you got it all. This is you here. I feel. You're, it's like you're too good to be true or too good for them. They're not worthy of you. There's a, a, a feeling of shame. Being ashamed of like who they are or what they did, but it's mostly about their self-confidence. I'm sure what they did was not so, so sweet, but they would do definitely want to make things right. They do feel the bond with you. They don't want to let it go. They're very, very attached to you here and they want to figure this out. Let's see what we got underneath. Seven of Swords. Uh, this is an energy of uh, avoiding. 
Um, I feel like they've been avoiding their feelings for you for a long time, trying to uh, pretend that it's not there, but it's like it's right in their face. Now, the Aerofin twice, um, they're feeling guided to follow this path, but in a masculine energy. It's rational. It's traditional. Uh, they got their method and they, they're sticking to it. And it might not be the way you <laughs> would do things, but they have a step-by-step -step plan. And I feel like that's very much part of their personality as well. They might be very um, organized or goal-oriented in life. Okay. What did he want to tell you? Oh, sorry. They were stuck together. It did not feel right. They want to tell you what? I know you are my other F. They do. They, they do. It's clear. Now they just need to find the guts <laughs> to actually move towards you. My love for you goes deep, or so deep. It does. They're trying to find clarity. It's like they're on a, on a I don't want to say mature, uh, a spiritual path, because I don't feel like this person is very in touch with, or not very spiritual. But they're growing, maturing. So they're on a maturity path. <laughs> Journey. It's like, you know, uh, they're just like growing up, stepping out of the the teenager kind of um, phase they, they were in. They don't want to play games anymore. I can never say it, but I do love you. I'm getting chills, guys, everybody, girls, guys, everybody out there, group two. Uh, uh, you could definitely have a look at pile one if, uh, if you were attracted to it. Uh, don't forget, while I'm pulling, oh, I'm not done. Before I do the advice, I'll give you more messages from your person. Um, but what I was going to say is that I'm starting this new 21 day challenge to manifest new, good, beautiful stuff in your life, um, on May 1st. So you can, uh, if you watch this later, you can join at any time, but, the, um, Facebook manifestation group, the link is in the description box with everything else for personal readings. So, uh, it's right on top. Okay. If you're interested and you can start now trying to manifest and doing your affirmations I wasn't true to myself we got it right here with the Aerofin slash five of pentacles they were pretending to be someone else their mask is it's not falling off they're removing it themselves So they're going at their pace. I don't think that this person is super fast with changes, but they're doing it themselves. It's not like a slap in the face and they're, they're in shock. It's like they want to do this. It's, it's a very mature and sincere energy. Okay, what else do they want to tell you? Keep wishing, keep waiting. Please don't wait. But know that this um, person is um, making their way back to you. And you don't have to sit there and wait forever. Though, you know your person. So, you know if it's going to go fast or not. But you keep living your life. Oh, you got the only bilingual card in this deck. Tu es tout pour moi, ne me quitte pas. You're you are my everything. Do not leave me. 
but they don't want you they don't want to lose you but they're slow let's see what advice we got here for you don't be afraid for i am with you don't be discouraged for i am your god i will strengthen you and help you i will hold you up with my victory right victorious right end and this is from uh Isaiah 41 10 if you want to check it out uh, oh man um I feel like this is um this is your person speaking here more than more than guides They want you to be strong. There you go, group uh, two. That was uh, intense. Lots of energy going on here with your person. So things are moving. You might not see it, but it, it's, things are making their way. And it's shifting in a beautiful way, I gotta admit. Um, but if you've been waiting for a long time for this person, and if you're tired, I so totally get that. You don't need to sit there and wait for this person. You do have to live your life. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, that's what it is here. If you want to join the Facebook group, the Like My Way Tarot group, it's uh, like a support group where you can exchange and share your experiences and ask your questions and and uh, see who is uh, who's been through this. If you need advices, there we go. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to let me know how this uh, resonated with you. Like, subscribe, and thank you so much. I'll see you very soon. Bye bye. Hi everybody who chose pile three. So you chose this deck and this letter. I'll put it right here. Before I start shuffling, I'll do your angel numbers. It's always nice to check out the meaning of those numbers. Uh, I always find that they're pretty on point. So let's see. Angel number for group three. 65 65 65 well that is interesting because check this out 11 11 that's guidance and that reduces to 4 if you want and 4 is foundation hard work it's it's fine it's it's um being solid in yourself i'm gonna leave it as 65 okay so that it goes to 11 but it could be four as well but i like the 65 that's a nice number 11 yeah so check it out Angel number 6565 reduces to four. Really cool. Now, let's see. What are, so we're asking your person's intention for the connection, then towards you. And I'm gonna ask two more questions afterwards, depending on what we get here, the question might be different from the other piles. So I don't know exactly what they will be. I'm just going to take the top one here. We got the Ten of Wands reversed and the Eye Priestess. What are their intentions towards you?
Six of Cups reversed. Death. Okay, this could be intense. Not in a bad way, but it could be and the Nine of Wands reversed. It's not in a bad way, but it's, it's going to be a strong message. Okay, this person is having the Ten and Nine of Wands here at beginning and end. They do definitely feel like this is a failure. And it's, they're wanting some kind of relief. Okay, it's a feeling of separation here. Feeling separated from you. Uh, having the Six of Cups here. This is like the soulmate or energy. Very strong bond between the two of you. But uh, uh, this, this is all disappointment. They're disappointed right now. They felt very, very strongly about you with the High Priestess here. They know that your connection was something special. Like out of this world, uh, undescribable. That's what I'm hearing in French. Indescriptible. They cannot put words in this connection. How they feel about, about it. It's like they're shocked. At, at at how strong this is and right now I, I, I'm going to tell you right now they're not going anywhere they're not doing anything they're just um, surprised they're frozen by this deep connection here and they really feel like they lost you we got that as well um, that is wanting uh, it's a period of transformation that's what's going on here it's wanting a new beginning these two together are super strong it's like they're um, discovering something new but it's so much like if the, your person ran away from you if they let you down that's because they this was too strong so they need space they need to back out uh, I'm, I'm, um, there's some kind of immaturity here with the six of cups I'm gonna clarify it um, the, they might have been um, could have, it could be abuse, like they, they, they lost, they broke the trust, or the trust has been broken in a very immature way for most of you here. Let's, let's clarify the Six of Cups reversed. It's like they feel like they screwed up something that was beautiful. You know what? It's hot, burning, and icy cold, just with the colors. That's what I keep looking at. Um, let's clarify the Six of Cups reversed. Oh, I got a reversed card again here. The Knight of Swords. So, something wasn't right here with what happened. Um, it was very impulsive, I feel, what they did or said or... If they, you know, disappear from your life, if they broke up and you did not expect it, uh, it was very impulsive. This person is not understanding this connection. They don't understand. Um, I'm going to ask for more. Let's see what we have here under... We got temperance. We got temperance here. Like this. I like it because there's the infinity symbol. And we're having those two cups creating this energy sharing. 
Uh, maybe the, um, that's interesting because there's a silver cup and a gold cup here. The, the sharing or the exchange of energy in the connection maybe was not balanced or it's, it needs to be balanced. And this is uh, transformational as well. Just like that. So we're looking into someone who's very confused here in the connection. So maybe this just happened. Maybe you just had an argument or it feels pretty new, new-ish. Let's see their intentions towards you. Queen of Cups. That's nice. Good start. There's, th th there's, this is like un, uh, unconscious emotions. It's very, I feel like their emotions are overwhelming for them. And right now they're not quite touching them. Their, their eyes are not open. But they, they're feeling it, but they don't know what it is. It's really weird. Um, it's weird, but it's not. Uh, there's a lot of compassion here with the Queen of Cups uh, wanting to protect. It's feeling guided towards listening to the intuition. We got the moon reversed. What are their intentions towards group three? The Knight of Cups reversed. We're going to ask for their feelings after the Lovers reversed. You, maybe it's you that left. If it's the case, and the Page of Pentacles reversed. We got like two possible, I see two possible way to read this depending on who left who. So adapt it to your situation here. Your person is wanting to offer you their heart to open up to you. Something happened here that blew their brains out, okay? Uh, it can be the feelings, it could be a situation between the two of you, it might some something unexpected. It's something that they did not expect. So now they're really off balance. They're, they're really having a hard time wrapping their head around it. It's feeling a little bit like a failure, not knowing which direction to take at the moment. Um, very frustrated, confused, okay? Your person is not happy in this whatsoever. Um, Knight of Cups reversed. Um, they're very disappointed. Uh, they might be very jealous. Uh, if there's other p people involved, but it's ve it's a possessive, like really possessive energy. Uh, and then we got the lovers and the page of pentacles here. Your person is not at this moment in a place where they want to make a move. But we have all this love here sitting there and they do nothing to give it. feels like they, they're closing their heart a little bit. So they're not at this moment willing to make a move. Uh, we're going to ask more questions. We got here the devil reversed. So this is needing to let go. Let go of what doesn't serve them and that doesn't mean it's you here at all but their intentions towards you is to give you space or to take their space depending on who left who but this person cares about you but they don't want to touch that feeling either because they are hurt 
or they're just afraid to reach out but they're not they're very confused let's see their um I'm, before I get to their feelings, I'm going to ask what they would like in this connection. Knight of Wands reversed their wish, what they would, what they wish for this connection. The Hangman reversed. The Hermit. The Six of Wands reversed. Just gonna bring this up. Uh, right now they, they do want some space. Okay, they're they they're they're really really blocked. Um, please don't freak out. This energy will change. So you might want to give it a little bit of time. It feels very explosive um, between the two of you, uh, either emotionally or in arguments, or there's something like not quite aligning at the moment. So your person needs time. I feel like you need time as well. And that's what they would like. They just want to find clarity here with the hermit. But there's this energy of frustration and not wanting to share. And it's very pessimistic. There's this, this cannot work kind of energy. With the six of wands and the three of pentacles here, they're not at this moment ready to invest in the connection. I feel like this person is kind of broken. Not necessarily by you, but by, the, it could be their past uh, this person is a little lost and they need to make their way out of it before they can do anything they need to find their balance back what do we have here uh, we have the knight of swords reversed they're feeling super weak they're also very impatient if they're if you're the one who left, they'd like you back in their life, but they're not going to do anything just yet to go get you back. And if it's the, your situation, and if you feel it's right, maybe there's no need to wait for them to make the move. Um, or just to get closure here. Let's ask for their feelings. What are their feelings for group three? True feelings. True feelings. Not what they think in their head, stuck in their ego, because we got a lot of ego also popping out. In the 5D, in their higher self, what are their true feelings? Queen of Swords Reavers. Wow, that's... Uh... <laughs> overly emotional uh, but it's emotion all over the place it's also like a very distant um feeling disconnected sort of energy six of pentacles they're true feelings true feelings uh queen of wands they're very passionate about you where we got the hermit. It's like this is a secret connection. Or they're, they might be avoiding the connection and keeping it a secret for themselves. Or it's something that's like forbidden. Like if one of you is already with someone else or if there's distance. It's, it's like what I'm sensing here is like how can we make this work? I really don't see how. And this is too much for me to handle. This is the, like, if I do a overall resume or recap of your whole reading so far, that's how it, um, it feels. Like the, my, um, my stomach is like so heavy 
in uh, mostly in the solar plexus area and just like sunk and that's your like your present energy like right now in the present it's so heavy for them to to bear the true feelings for group three the moon didn't we get the moon before i don't remember Oh, yeah, they're like, it's very dreamy. Their disconnection has definitely transformed them. It is transforming them. Um, this is being aware of your shadow side as well. So, um, oof. Um, you make them see clearly something about themselves here. Uh, with the hermit and the moon, it's very introspective. Uh, this person is changing their perception of so many things. And not just, I don't feel like it has, it has something to do with you, but it's not just your connection. It's like this connection is changing them, changing their values. Uh, what the their priorities are changing, so the your person really needs that step back here. But oh, they are passionate about you here, and uh, their emotions are really uh, shaken. Like, and we have this balance energy here with this, the six of pentacles. Uh, it's very kind. Very kind energy they uh, or feelings they have towards you. They do care very much. Um, oh, I just had something that came up. Um, if this was like a friend with benefits or like a less serious relationship, this person is Reevaluating this. Because they don't want just sex. Or intimacy, I should say. Uh, they, they know you're connected in some kind of way, but your person is not, not even close to be ready to commit or to invest energy in your connection at the moment. Sorry. Don't shoot the messenger, please. And we have the chariot here. It went too fast. It's, it's fast. They're seeking balance here um, with the chariot. And they're... These feelings they have for you are so strong that they're not quite... Um, they don't know how to handle this. I'm going to pull you one of those cards here. Which I didn't do for uh, previous piles, but I feel like um, that's what needs to happen. <laughs> Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Yeah. It feels like it was very much... For some of you, it might have been a toxic connection. But definitely not for all of you. Uh, but it's time to... Um, have a, a little bit of time for yourself here. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. For some of you, there might be some like codependency going on. Um, being very attached or, or I'm feeling like needy towards this person and um, this person doesn't want this they, they don't want that what do they want to tell you you know you are my other half it could be very sincere feelings it could also be um, codependency here or um, you'll see what your connection if, if take what resonates okay because it can go in so many directions for this pile here 
if this is resonating with you in some ways uh, and if you're interested in a personal reading you can find the infos in description box uh, I got like short readings if you just want a little bit more insight on your own connection see what's going on because this is I know um, there's so many possibilities here but it's really clashing love isn't always on time please be patient with me this person is not in a place that they want to invest in the connection they're very much all over the place my responsibilities are weighting me down let's get another one and i'll get you an advice after i feel trapped so your person is, is is stuck in some some kind of situation i don't feel like it's about you specifically but it's the situation they're stuck in what message does their person group three have to say oh we got two three <laughs> you're lucky uh, I don't know how to stop myself. So, um, I didn't mention it before. Um, there could be some, I, I mentioned codependency, but it could be not, not necessarily like being codependent of each other. It could be having addictive behaviors or I'm working on our future and I am tired of this silence. There's something, I'm, uh, I very much feel like there's something that you don't know. There's something unsaid. Not necessarily a lie. I don't feel like it's a lie. It's something they're hiding. Something they're not telling. That's not quite honest, but it's really very much time to free yourself here and to allow yourself uh, to be loved uh, by you. Okay? And um, and put yourself first here. I feel like you've given a lot to this person. And you have not gotten much back. Do nothing from selfishness or conceal. But in, sorry, but in humility, count others better than yourself. Let go. Uh, let each of you look not only to his own interest, but also to the interest of others. This is by Philippian 2, 3, 4, if you're interested in looking it up. So this is about balance. Um, taking care of each other. It has to be balance. Um, I'm going to pull you more, more advice. One more here. Group three. Okay. It is time to learn. Group three. This is workshops and seminar. It is time for you to uh, listen uh, to speeches. It could be um, reading blogs and watching videos on YouTube, this deck is about 15 and maybe 18 years old. So uh, it is time for you to give and listen to speeches that are part, uh, it is part of your spiritual path and mission. Be ready to teach and learn. So there's something really big happening, very transformational happening here. And it feels pretty chaotic and intense. So let me know if you're interested in personal reading so that we can clarify this uh, more specifically. Because when it's for the collective, like it is right now, it goes in so many directions. There you go, group three. Thank you so much for um, watching. Let me know how this resonates and like, subscribe if it's not done already. Thank you so much. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.